In this Hero Camper owner video, I'm gonna show you my kitchen area of my Hero Camper Ranger, show you a bit about the standard setup, and then show you what I've done to customize it and make it a little bit more friendly for our camping usage. Okay, so I apologize in advance for any wind noise. <laughs> Just as I start to this video, the wind decides to pick up. But there's many things that I like about my Hero Camper Ranger. One of them, my favorites must be the kitchen area. So in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about the kitchen, how I've got things set up and you know, just give you more information. Either inspiration for setting up your own kitchen or if you're thinking about buying a Hero Camper, again, showing you kind of what comes to stand and what I've done and yeah, so you can find out more about the kitchen. So we'll start off with the control panel over here. So in the far left hand corner of the Hero Camper, we have controls similar to we have on the inside. This little module actually is wireless. So there's a little battery in there um, that communicates with the main module inside the camper. So you can control the lights here in the kitchen, as well as the lights on the side and inside. It's basically a full replica of the controls that you have inside. So sometimes if you press them and they're a little bit unresponsive, again, it's because it's wireless. And you know, at some point you have to take this apart and replace the battery. But I'll um, move a little bit closer to show you what it is that we have over there. Okay, so here we have it. So we have the, the backrest and cabinet lights. This is for inside the Hero Camper Ranger. Then we have the door light, and then this is the light for dimming the lights inside the camper. And this is basically the only one that we're interested in here for the kitchen. That is the one that's interestingly called kitchen. So you just press that once, you'll see that the lights light up all along here. It's a single white LED light. And again, pressing the dimmer button has no impact on this light whatsoever. We then have a couple of other things here. We have two uh, th 12, oh, 12 volts. <laughs> um, they're grid uh, connected mains power supply. So when you're running off the 12 volt battery, these do not work. You have to be plugged in to the grid to have those functional. And down at the bottom here, we have a 12 volt that um, I've, stuck a um, USB 12 volt connector in there. If we pull this out, you'll see there is a satellite and TV connector there. And those don't actually work. So I don't know why, but Hero must have had a bulk load of those. And I looked at swapping it out for just a standard 12 volt one, just for cosmetic purposes, but the wiring is so tight, I decided that that just wasn't gonna be a goer. Another one of the great things about the Hero Camper Ranger's kitchen is the fact that obviously being a teardrop, you do have cover over you. So if it's lashing it down, you're gonna stay pretty dry whilst you are cooking. Um, but there's also an Isabella kitchen awning that comes out, I don't know, that's about two and a half meters long. It gives you a fully enclosed kitchen area, which is pretty damn good. The main probably obvious part of the kitchen is this really large stainless steel kitchen area it does scratch easily and it is a bit difficult to keep nice and clean but it's a good size so in terms of back to front it's about 56.5 centimeters deep and the length is about 155.5 centimeters long altogether over here you have the sink area so we keep a collapsible Kind of sink in there just to give it a bit more depth and a chopping board so it doesn't fly around whilst we're traveling and you can see it's kind of not completely it's a bit more like a swimming pool so you've got the shallow end here and then slowly goes down to the deep end it's not massive um but it is perfectly usable i don't have any water in here right now but obviously the tap supplies cold water if we turn it on you can hear the little electric pump that's accessing the 30 litre water tank that's underneath. We have a little look around here on the side. This is the input for the water. So when you pull up on site, you can just fill this um, up, so 30 litres. And then down below, here we have the drain pipe for the um, water tank. So we need to empty it before leaving. You just need to turn that knob. And if we look just over here, this black pipe here, that is the drain pipe for the sink itself. So you need to make sure you put a bucket or something underneath there 
we have just a collapsible bucket that we put underneath so anything that goes out of here the grey water gets collected into that bucket and we can get rid of it. Okay so a couple of things that I've done on my Hero Camper Ranger to make it in my opinion more usable these are all from Ikea so Ikea suction mounted kind of just as a rail basically so I use this to keep the um, towels on anything else we want to dry um, also recently added just at the top here some more of these these are little IKEA suction hooks so again we can use this either to hang coats on I put one either side so again we can just do a little makeshift um, drying rail as well if you need to dry clothes or towels or anything like that on the underside just here as you can see there is a gap but they recommend folding this away and um, we're not use but this basically just goes up velcro is on the top which means when it's raining you don't get rain popping down here they recommend folding it away when you're not using it but i recommend not doing that if it's lashing it down with rain because then you'll have a whole pocket of water a pocket of water that will then flow over you so i'd wait until you get back and it's dried out a little bit then i'll show you some more of the mods that we've done here okay so again from ikea uh, a little kitchen rail uh kitchen roll holder that i've added on here this just clips on it's just plastic we have these existing metal beams that run on here as standard. Again, we've just got some clips here for bags and whatever. And then various of these little pouches, that again, come from Ikea, just trying to hold things uh, together a little easier. So we have washing up liquid, um, uh, hand soap. Again, we've got uh, bags, dog poo bags. We have the dog, it's a bit of hand sanitizer. Uh, I still want to move this stuff around a little bit, but, um, some kitchen utensils, sauces, mustard, tea bags, coffee, hot chocolate. And then uh, we've got some walkie talkies and stuff in here. So that's uh, when the kids are down the park or whatever, we can keep in contact with them. And again, just a couple of other um, boxes that I got these first, then decided I like these um, much better. But again, still usable, keep hot chocolate in there, those kind of things. A little couple of handy hooks. Don't normally have this here, um, but again, makes the space more usable gives you easy access to everything that you need one thing that isn't great about the hero camper kitchen but is a mod that i'm planning there is no gas connection here at all so i am planning to run um, a gas pipe from the gas box up in the front back into the kitchen area somewhere i haven't decided if i'll put something kind of just on the worktop here but i don't really fancy um drilling something so I may just end up having um, an outlet that comes down under here or something that we can easily get access to like a, a barbecue point or something like that so whilst we're here we'll have a look in the drawers so there's three main drawers on this side so the top one here we just have our kitchen utensils so you can see that right here so temperature gauge bottle opener knives cutlery all that kind of stuff just in here second drawer is a little bit deeper so in here we keep uh, it's not, not round up um things have moved around a bit once we came back um keep our collapsible kettle we have uh, all falcon enamelware um cups and plates and, and what have you they're quite expensive really um and the customer care was a bit crap but they look good so um and they work well so happy with them in general but yeah we keep all that in here in this um, middle drawer and then the bottom drawer is the deepest one where we keep our pans and everything so you just see just here keep our ridge monkey in the top underneath we have um, a kettle a couple of yeti cups <coughs> toaster stuff all our pots and pans are in here so we have the primus uh, campfire set I think it's called salt and peppers and stuff like that but we keep all of that just in here so this drawer isn't as deep because as you see under here this is where the heater lives so we have the electric heater uh, which will be covered in a separate video but um, yeah that's why you don't have full access when you're pushing this drawer all the way back okay so we we'll move on to the middle drawer so in here again it's a slightly narrower drawer but this is where we keep some of the stuffs we need for cleaning so this is again another collapsible um, bucket we tend to put all our 
uh, wash gear in here when we take it to a new washing facility on a campsite. Keep a towel in here as well. And this is the 12 litre um, compressor Hero Camper fridge. So again, we'll cover this in a separate video. You can see it's not, not massive, but um, isn't too bad. It does a reasonable job. And uh, you can charge things on there and all that stuff you can see there. Uh, but in the back, we keep uh, some food bags. We've got our uh, Fun Fit Adventure apron in there. And it's important to keep these side areas clear because the um, there's vents on the side of the fridge. This here is a, a roll-out protection mat. This is what we put just on the side up here when um, we are cooking. And again, in here we have um, some more spare sponges and cloths. Uh, we also have a fire blanket and again a few pegs down here again that's kept open so that the vents are accessible to keep the, the fridge temperature controlled. One thing I didn't mention is all of the handles in the fridge area have these kind of latches that you can see just here. So it goes up and down, just means that when it goes in it clicks and it's not going to come flying out or anything whilst you're travelling. You'll also notice there's a little bit of this kind of plastic protection tape on here. That just means that when the, the back end is closing it's not going to damage um, this particular unit. Also gives you some indication of What's going on so obviously this is the fridge area one thing i didn't show you is behind here again are some additional power sockets so i have the fridge on 12 volts so it's working all the time but then there is also grid connection stuff in there i've got a alexa a echo dot plugged in at the moment if we're on grid okay let's move over to the last cupboard so again this one has behind it the 30 litre water tank and obviously some of the sink drainage pieces so you are limited on the space so again in here we've got a couple of things four plate uh, fly covers they also um, uh, kind of double up as a colander so when you're out camping unfortunately there's flies and things so you want to be able to cover the plates because the kids moan a little bit about these things I've also got some uh, magnetized clips if we need those a hook for my little um, kitchen spice bag I have a fire extinguisher and then a couple of different kind of measuring jugs they're measuring jugs and uh, colanders uh, as well and then I have my Kadak burger press in there as well just to the side of the water tank I also keep my chopping boards and a little drainage mat in there as well so they slide in and out um, quite nicely so I think, that's it. I think that covers most components really of the hero camper kitchen area again like I said it's one of my favorite parts of the hero camper and I really enjoy kind of being out here and using it it's like about again you're being out with nature and if you're cooking stinky foods it's not going to impact into the sleeping area which I really like as well we've got a little uh, hero camper owner logo up there and I guess the only couple other things I mentioned just so you know obviously how to use it when you open up the, the back of the hero camper this piece kind of clicks into place to kind of keep the gastra up when you want to um lower the back down you just need to apply a little bit of pressure up to release the pressure on here push it in and it will then come down and then when you're actually closing the back you want to do two clicks so you'll hear it go click and you want to push it so it clicks again if you don't do that there is a risk that it might kind of pop up when you're driving along but that's it that's my little tour of my kitchen here on my hero camper ranger hope it's helped please feel free to ask questions leave comments and feedback in the description down below if you haven't done already please consider liking this video along with subscribing to the channel and uh, yeah take care of yourself and we'll catch you in the next video more hero camper related videos to come bye for now